Hi, my name's Heather Richards. I play here at Brinkley Tennis Club and this is my tennis story. I first started playing tennis, I think I was about 10 at Callington. Uh, my family played tennis there, so my two older brothers were already playing and mum and dad. So I sort of started my junior career there. Then when I was about 16, my brother and I came here to play A grade tennis. So that was in 1981, I think we came here to play tennis. I've been playing here ever since, yeah. I started coaching just after I'd moved here when we got married. Um, I think I was about 24 or 25 and there was no junior teams here at all. It was just the seniors uh, holding it all together but I knew that there was uh, children around about the right age to see if they wanted to play. So I rang a lot of parents and asked if their children would be interested in learning how to play and a lot of them did. I think we had two teams came out. Uh, those kids are now married and have kids of their own but uh, I've been coaching here I think for about 18 years. Well, my favourite tennis memory is probably going to make me cry um, but this year or just this past season that's just gone by um, my husband, two kids and I played in a team together in the Saturday afternoon comp and um, it was a really big emotional time I suppose, like the whole thing I was just so proud that I was able to do it because we all loved tennis and just wanted to do it while we could, while we were fit enough. Um, and also back in the 70s I'd done that exact thing with my family, so my mum and dad and two brothers we played in a team together as well and uh, you know I, I didn't really think about it a lot. Um, until it's now happened to me and I know now you know how proud my mum must have been when it happened for her. So we played together this year for the whole season and we made it to the grand final. We, I knew we weren't going to win but I was just so proud and then we played, we'd lost the final but we were all um, you know congratulating each other after the match, the other team and everything and someone just said to me how proud I must be feeling and that was it. I was just <laughs> a wash for the next couple of hours um, but I didn't realise how much it had meant to me until somebody sort of brought it up and recognised it as well. Then we had the dinner that night which I continued crying right through the night <laughs> how proud I was and when I got up to make speeches and things so I think that just showed my kids how much it meant to me too. We got down there and there were seven people nominated so I wasn't really thinking I had much of a chance and uh, yeah then they announced it had a table of, uh, there was eight of us went from our association and the table next door of eight that came from the Murray Bridge Lawn Tennis and all my table just went nuts and <laughs> went up and got the award and I just couldn't stop giggling because I just thought it was quite funny but a bit shocked at the same time. I guess I'm a bit of an organiser, well known for that, So, but I've also got a lot of people that if I organise something they really support it. So. Um, if I organise a trivia night or something like that, we've always got people here that'll uh, come and join in. If we have a chocolate drive, everyone just takes the chocolates and sells them. I don't know where my drive comes from for it, I just want to keep it going and while we've got interested people that are here that'll help um, to keep it going and we've got a reason to keep it going, that's, I think that's what drives me, just I want to have it here for my family to enjoy.